Muzzle energy is the kinetic energy of a bullet as it is expelled from the muzzle of a firearm. It is often used as a rough indication of the destructive potential of a given firearm or load. The heavier the bullet and especially the faster it moves, the higher its muzzle energy and the more damage it will do. Although both mass and velocity contribute to the muzzle energy, the muzzle energy is proportional to the mass while proportional to the square of the velocity. The velocity of the bullet is a more important determinant of muzzle energy. For a constant velocity, if the mass is doubled, the energy is doubled, however, for a constant mass, if the velocity is doubled, the muzzle energy increases four times. Calculating Muzzle Energy In the SI system the above EK will be in unit joule if the mass, m, is in kilogram, and the speed, v, is in meter per second. In United States engineering units, particular care must be taken to ensure that consistent units are used. Mass, m, is usually given in grains and the speed, v, in feet per second but kinetic energy, ek, is typically given in foot-pound force, abbreviated FTLBF. Most sporting arms publications within the United States report muzzle energies in foot-pound force. Finally, there is one other formula that was published in Handloader's Digest Bullet and Powder Update, Follett Publishing, 1980. On page 41, author Dean Grenell states bullet energy can be derived by first squaring the velocity, foot-slash-section, then dividing that result by the constant 450,240 and finally, multiplying that result by the weight of the bullet, expressed in grains. The end result will be the bullet energy at that speed, expressed in foot-pounds, foot-pounds. The nice thing about this formula is that you can also determine downrange energy of your bullet, quickly and easily. More simply, the formula could be expressed, using the above definitions E equals, V2 slash 450240, M. Subsonic ammunition. A subsonic variant of ammunition that would otherwise be supersonic has its velocity limited to less than the speed of sound, i.e. V is fixed at around 300 meters per second, 980 feet slash S. For ammunition with this limitation the muzzle energy is variable only with respect to the bullet mass M. It must be stressed that muzzle energy is dependent upon the factors previously listed and that even velocity is highly variable depending upon the length of the barrel a projectile is fired from. Also note that the muzzle energy is only an upper limit for how much energy is transmitted to the target and that the effects of a ballistic trauma depend on several other factors as well. While the above list mentions some averages, there is wide variation in commercial ammunition. A 180-grain bullet fired from .357 Magnum handgun can achieve a muzzle energy of 580 foot-pounds. A 110-grain bullet fired from the same gun might only achieve 400 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, depending upon the manufacture of the cartridge. Some .45 Colt ammunition can produce 1,200 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, far in excess of the average listed above. Legal Requirements on Muzzle Energy Some jurisdictions stipulate minimum muzzle energies for hunting. For example, in Denmark rifle ammunition used for hunting the largest types of game there such as Red Deer must 100m downrange have a kinetic energy E100 of at least 2700J and a bullet mass of at least 9 grams or alternatively an E100 of at least 2000J and a bullet mass of at least 10 Guaranese Namibia specifies three levels of minimum muzzle energy for hunting, 1350J for game such as Springbok. 2700J for game such as Heartbeast and 5400J for big game, together with a minimum caliber of 7mm. In Germany airsoft guns with a muzzle energy of no more than 0.5J are exempt from the gun law, while air guns with a muzzle energy of no more than 7.5J may be acquired without a firearms license. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.